five tips to get paid on purpose or how to make money online. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I'm kind of sitting, waiting on a rainstorm to run in. So I thought I'm going to shoot this video because I am so excited to tell you the truth. I heard somebody talk about this earlier today and I just it was just on stinking believable. So let me get on to this. It is five tips on how to get paid on purpose or how to make money online. Hey, before I get going, hang on to the very end because I got a great, great, great freebie. <laughs> I love it. And give me a like, a comment, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that big time. So five tips, five tips to get paid on purpose. One is make a decision. I'm real serious about that. There is so much fear in people, in me too, when I first got started. But I don't know what you want to do, whether it's make uh, have a business online or brick and mortar, mortar. But you have to make a decision. So you get to make two choices. One is don't do anything. You really don't. And sometimes that's about buying products, you know, getting into coaching. You don't have to do anything. Well, you know what really sucks about that is you. You're the same way you were today as you were yesterday. And if you aren't accomplishing anything yesterday, guess what? That's happening today and tomorrow. So sometimes you just have to make a decision and go for it and see what happens. Right? What if it works? What if it works? That's what this is all about. What if it works? So make a decision. The second tip. And man, this is just, I don't know if this is you, but you got to eliminate those limiting beliefs. And I had a ton of them. One, it's the imposter syndrome. See, I'm putting a course together right now and I'm very excited about it. It took me the longest time because I put courses together, but they're $7, $17. Even though I put out good value, I didn't think my value was that good. Well, I'm putting a core course together. I am so excited about it because I know it's going to help people. See, but I had this eliminate this limiting belief that my value wasn't good enough. Well, if I can help one person change their lives, if I can help one person make get out of their nine to five job, make five hundred dollars extra a month, that is worth it. And I know I can do that. So there's other limiting beliefs, and there's a study that most of our limiting limiting beliefs come from when we're really young, four to six years old, and a lot of them from family members, you know, with, with not even knowing that they're putting these beliefs in us. And mine really came from a family member. Love him to death. But he kept telling me I wasn't good enough. He had a kind of a sarcastic, funny laugh at me. I was kind of goofy. I was tall and my ears stuck out and I was spindly and, you know, I was kind of coordinated, but I'd blush and he, he just went out of his way to make me embarrassed. Went out of his way to make me believe I wasn't good enough. And guess what? I fought that for a long time. I had to get out of my own way. The third one, go learn from others. See, and, and that comes out with making a decision and limiting, limit, limiting beliefs. <laughs> I'm not a little tongue-tied here today. But go learn from others. See, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are a lot of great marketers out there, a lot of great people that develop courses and have businesses. Well, go study what they're doing. And when you're studying what they're doing, don't copy it, but put it in your words, figure out what they're doing, and you come back and do the same thing without the copying part, right? Put it in your words. That's what people are looking for, right? Because some people don't follow some people, but they want to hear it from you. They want to hear your voice, your voice. <laughs> Goofy today. Anyway, the next one, number four, set attainable goals. Right, we all come in here, right? At least, again, I'm, I'm not going to say y'all. I did. I was going to replace my income. I wanted to make a hundred grand, but deep down, I knew I was going to blow it out of the water. In the first month, I didn't make ten thousand dollars. Just, oh, I thought, what the heck? I don't know what I'm doing. Make attainable goals. See, if you're putting a course together, or if you're losing weight. If you're trying to lose weight, well, 
lose five pounds in a week. Lose that water weight. Feel good about it. If you're trying to make money online, then make your first hundred dollars. Have a goal to make that. Or have a goal to make 500. Or have a goal to make a thousand. But something, every time you hit one of your goals, guess what? You have to applaud yourself, right? You have to congratulate yourself, set yourself up in, in your triumphs and celebrate them because celebrating helps you with your beliefs. Now, here's the last one. This is the biggest one. Biggest, biggest, biggest. Never give up. Never give up. I mean, I know it, it, in... There's this cartoon on Facebook and Instagram, guy building a tunnel, building a tunnel, and he quits, and he's about that far from breaking through. See, in business, whether it's online or brick and mortar, we are that close to breaking through. And so many are that close to breaking through in their dreams, and then they give up. Don't give up. Keep on fighting. Keep on learning. Seek out advice. Keep on going. So there you have it. Your five tips, whew, I'm winded. Five tips is make a decision. Probably the biggest one is make a decision today to go for it. Two, get rid of your limiting beliefs. Three, set attainable goals. Four, what was four? Oh, that was set attainable goals. Three was learn from others. <laughs> I wrote notes that I didn't read them. Four is set attainable goals. And five is never quit. Never quit. Man, I hope you got great value from that. Again, I'm Mark Nelson. I got a great free. Remember at the beginning I said I got a great resource for you? I have a resource. How to create a six-figure income online. Believe it? A six-figure income online without ever leaving your home. Making phone calls, making hard sales, or doing any paid ads. Click that link below and you can get that for free. It'll help you on your journey. And hey, I'd love it if you'd make a comment, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and then that little bell button that goes ding. Love you all. Peace out. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.